Hey guys, welcome back. So the next problem we're going to talk about which can be solved using backtracking is a rat in a maze problem. So basically you're given a maze, a rat starts from the top left corner and it has to reach the destination which is the lower rightmost corner to get out of this maze. There are some obstacles or dead ends in this maze, the rat cannot cross these. So the red can go in forward direction or it can go down. In the real problem, you'll be given a matrix having zeros and one. Zero mean dead end and one is the valid path to be traversed by the red. So if we are solving this problem using backtracking, then let's see how the solution is going to move back and forth. How do we actually deal with this problem or how do we approach the problem? We know all the four elements, the choices we make, the constraints we adhere to, recursion, and the final goal or the base case. So first is choices. That gives us the hints about how to draw recursive steps, right? We have to think of the core choice we are making at each step or at each cell. So the decision space is either we can move in x direction or we can go forward in y direction. So these are the only two choices we have to make at each step. Now the second element is the constraints. Using which we validate if the current step is inclusive or safe to update. So we can move here in two directions forward and downwards right but there are constraints that restrict us to move in these direction the current cell can only be included in the path if it is inside the maze and is having value one for example if the cell value is zero that means it's a wall so you cannot move forward and when you reach at the last cell of a row that means you cannot move forward in that di same direction because it will be outside of the maze. And similarly, if you reach to the last cell of any column, that means you cannot move forward after this because it will be outside of the maze. So before including any cell in the path, we must adhere to these constraints. The value of the cell must be one it should be inside of the maze. So now if it is safe to include the cell in the path, then we can go further, right? So we can call the recursion then. So recursion is decided by the choices. We already talked about the choices. Either we can go in X direction, and for this recursive call to go forward in X direction, we increment the x by 1 and we keep the y same. But if we cannot go forward in x direction due to the mentioned constraints, then we will go in y direction. And for going in y direction, in the recursive calls, we will keep the x same but we will increment the y by 1. And if we cannot go forward in both the directions, then we unmark the current cell by overwriting it with zero, basically to remove or undo our decision for that cell. That is, if all choices fails, then for the current cell, the last choice always is to discard or undo the already set value. Because if going forward with any choice cannot work out at this cell, then this cell cannot take us to the right path. And this is the backtracking step, as you know. So see, either we go in x direction using the recursive call, and see here in this recursive call where we are calling solve maze, we're incrementing the x, but we're keeping the y same. But if going forward in x direction does not work out, then we go forward in y direction. And when we go forward in y direction, we keep the x same, but we increment the y. And if going forward in both the direction does not work out, then 
we undo our decision for the current cell. So we put zero at that cell. Now the last element, which is the goal. So the last step is to find out the base condition and it is when the red reaches its goal. The goal is of getting out of this maze, right? So the red will reach to its goal of getting out of this maze when it will be at the final cell of this maze, which is the cell at n minus 1th row and at n minus 1th column. So this will be the base condition. If it reaches there, we can return true and the maze will be fully updated here with the final path. So we update the value for the current cell and we return true. And with this base condition, our solution to this maze problem completes. And this is the complete solution to this maze problem where we have constraints according to which we set the value for the cell. And then we have the recursive steps which are based on the choices. We can do recursive course in x direction, we can do recursive course in y direction because going forward in x direction and going forward in y direction were the two choices we had. Then we have the backtracking move. If the choices do not work out, we can undo our decision for the current set. And then finally we have the base case which makes us reach to our goal. So let's see how the complete solution will work. So this rat can move in x direction and it can also move in y direction. First it will try to move in x direction and the next cell is having one so it can move to the next cell. Now again it will try to move in the x direction but it will fail to go in x direction but it have other option to go in y direction. And from here again it will try to go in x direction and again in x direction again in x direction but it will fail to go in x direction because it will be out of the maze. Now from here it also cannot go to the y direction because y direction is a wall it's a zero cell so it cannot go in y direction so it will move so it undo its decision for the current cell. Again, it cannot move in y direction because there is a wall. So it goes back and undo its decision for the current cell. And from here, it can happily move in y direction because the next cell in y direction is having value 1. Now again, it tries to go in x direction. It cannot go forward in x direction. It's a wall. So it goes in y direction. From here, again, it goes in x direction and it happily moves and again happily moves and it reaches to the end of this maze, which is the goal. Now let's try out the solution in IDE.